Hey guys, Kalenberg here again, and today we're going to be fighting uh, Nargakuga once again. Clearly my favorite monster in Iceborne. So it'll be with Switch Axe and its TA rules, of course. So I did a run a day ago, but it wasn't very good. I was testing out elemental files, but I knew I could do a lot better than that run. So here I am trying again. So we throw a dung pod, and then we try to get all of our hits in here, and we can get already to already to powered up gauge with switch axe, which is really nice. And from here, we can hit him a couple times with sword mode. And then we should get a stagger, and then we can do the full morph attack. Too bad I missed his head with a few of those, but. It's okay. And there I iframe that. Doesn't always work out, but <laughs> got a little lucky there, I guess. And we got a clagger. So with this we're gonna we're gonna hop off and then we're gonna get those hits in and then we're gonna go into the discharge. And that'll give us another clagger. And then same strategy for this again. Luckily we just had enough gauge to pull this off. And here we'll do the full discharge, we won't end it early, because Nargus seems to always let us. I guess it's part of his script. And then from there we're going to weaken again. And that's kind of the start I always try for. Doesn't always work out, but it's pretty consistent script. If you can play well, it usually ends up like that. So I'll dodge those. And here we got to build back our sword gauge, which is pretty easy with elemental files. And then we got a lucky trip here. I'm going to go to powered up axe mode. That's mostly just to let the gauge build back up. Nice little fade slash. There I whiffed. Whiffed on the clutch claw, but luckily I had enough time to do it again. So here, same strategy as before. I'm going to do another discharge. Right before the roar. And here I got a little too greedy, but... I don't even know how, but I was able to iframe that. It doesn't always work out either, so I guess I got a little lucky in this run with the iframes. But the Safi set does come with Evade Window 3, so it makes it a lot easier to dodge those. So here we don't have enough gauge to hop off and do the discharge, so we just go straight into the ZSD and he's dead. As you can see, we were almost dead at the end, but... <laughs> Luckily we were able to pull it off. Final time, 2.53, which is a heck of a lot better than I did yesterday. I had a free night tonight, so I spent four or five hours on this, so yeah, kind of binge played. I don't usually do that. So I'm running Power Prolonger 1. Um, I think that's enough for this fight. Kind of everything went according to plan in this fight, so I really, yeah, I really didn't need more than that. Usually I'll run Power Prolonger 3, but I just started using Elemental Files with the, the Kiar Switch Axes from Kulv Taroth. So it's a lot easier to build Gage back up with Elemental Files, so I might just even drop Power Prolonger entirely for a lot of fights, not sure yet. Yeah, 253. Pretty solid time. Happy with that. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.